Are you tired of the rat race in America? Are you ready to visit the motherland to relax and rejuvenate? Are you ready to explore all that Africa has to offer? Then check out the brand new Diversify Game Academy course, Prepare for My First Trip to Africa. Are you worried about being able to afford the trip? We got you. We will show you how to travel either on a budget or as a baller. Learn how to stress the value of the USD. Did you know that 100 United States dollars is worth over 1,000 South African Rand or 10,000 Kenyan shillings or 54,250 West African CFA? Are you worried about taking your kids? Get the game from Kellen Cash, a bona fide world traveler, having traveled to almost 20 countries, several of those in Africa. Get the game on taking your kids on their first trips. Learn how to find the best tickets, get the visas, and plan your own adventures in Africa. Don't let Eddie Murphy have all the fun. Plan your own coming to Africa trip starring you, produced by you, and featuring you. If you are ready for a life-changing experience, sign up for our course today, Diversified Game Academy. Get prepared and purchase at diversifiedgame.com. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So during a French Open press conference, Coco Golf was um, asked by a reporter, actually a reporter said this to her. You're often compared to the Williams sisters. Maybe it's because you're black, but I guess it's because you're talented and maybe American too. What? Like, just bam, just like that, right? So then the reporter follows up with, um, we could have a final between you and Serena. Is that something you hope for? I mean, 22 years separates you two girls. Okay, first of all, Serena is a grown woman. So, you know, the whole girls thing, that, that's just kind of odd too. But Coco, you know, being smart, she went on to say the following. Um, playing Serena in the final would be great. That's a dream that I, I have always dreamed about, playing her in the finals. Then she goes on to say, but yeah, I mean, people compare me to them a lot. And I think it's a compliment, but for me, I just focus on being myself because I'm never going to be Serena Williams and Serena will never be me because we are two different people. All right, just putting a reporter on notice that I don't, hey, just because we're black don't mean we're the same because you know they like to make that comparison. Oh, all black people look alike, all right? Um, and you know, it should be said that uh, Coco is uh, the youngest player um, to, you know, to play there at the Women's Tennis Association, right? All right, so she also goes on to say, we have two different brands. I understand why people compare us, but I think it's just important that I want to be known as Coco. I don't want to be known as Serena Williams' heir or Serena Williams' next thing. I just want to be known as Coco Golf. And, you know, rightfully so, but how? Just blatant. Is the reporter to come out and say, you know, it's because you're black. You, you guys are compared together because you're black. That's probably how they said it too, because you know they're in French, because you're black. It's like, catch up here. That's inappropriate to say to somebody, especially world-class athletes, that you're compared to each other because you're black, not because we can whoop the pants off of any of these white girls running up and down these courts, not because... You know, Serena Williams is, I don't care what nobody say, the best athlete to grace planet Earth ever. Not because Coco is, you know, great at what she does at being so young, but because you're black. It's like, get out of here. So anyway, um, they're being dragged on Twitter and as they should be. I don't, they don't say their name. I guess, you know, they want to maybe keep it anonymous. I don't know, but I'm sure the name will come out. But anyway, you guys. You know, not because you're talented, but because you're black. So anyway, for more cycle commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. If you are over the age of 35, stop everything you're doing right now. After a lifetime of eating fatty foods, you may run the risks of a stroke or heart attack due to plaque buildup in your veins and arteries. To learn how you can reduce your risks, visit youthfountainlab.com or call 1-800-853-7856 today. This may be a life-changing call for you or someone you love. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you. Hello, everyone. 
please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms. Thank <laughs> you.